So in this video, I wanted uh, to give a brief overview of how to um, use the JAWSOM tool along with some plugins to make nice looking buildings. Um, so why even do building outlines in OpenStreetMap? Um, I found uh, having building outlines is useful for setting a geographical context so that once I have the building outline, then I can go into the field, do a survey, and uh, put in the shops kind of in the relative appropriate spots. I mean, why not use GPS to put in the shops? Well, if you quite often shops are inside of buildings or at the edge of buildings, and when you go there with your GPS, you know you won't get a very accurate reading anyways. So if you have this uh, context on the map already in terms of the, the, the building outline, then you can use the low-tech solution of uh, penciling things in and putting your information and then uh, uploading it later um, into OpenStreetMap. So this is in downtown Boulder, uh, Colorado. And I wanted to go add some buildings so I could um, put in some shops. And this was an example of how I used it. I went to walkingpapers.org and I, uh, I basically downloaded a PDF file that I could print out. And then later on I went ahead and um, digitized in some of the locations of the shops, relative locations, did some information there in terms of opening times. And then later on I uploaded it and uh, could use that later as a background for adding data to OpenStreetMap. So how do you make good uh, building outlines. Well, um, I use the JAWSOM tool, the Java OpenStreetMap Editor. Uh, I have the most recent version that uses um, the Bing Maps uh, Slippy Map plugin. So uh, just to make sure you have all the right plugins, you go to Edit Preferences, and then you click on this button here to look at the plugins. Um, so all the, the plugins that have the check mark beside them um, have are, are uh, enabled in, in JAWSOM for me right now. So one that you'll absolutely need is called Building Tools, so make sure you toggle that one on. Then there's another one that's helpful for making um, you know, courtyards, uh, enclosed courtyards inside a building, so that would be um, you use multi-poly poly for that. And uh, finally the last one might be helpful for, for Bing Maps if you look for the Slippy Map um, plugin, that's helpful to use. You click on OK and it will download it. And then we have to go download some area um, data for the area we're in. So go to Boulder, Colorado. If we click on there, I'm going to go to Slippy Map. There we have it. I'm using the wheel to zoom in. And I want to. Uh, here we go, load data for there, download data. So you, you can see there's there are the buildings that I've already added. Uh, now I want to add some other buildings. Um, I can use the building tool. Uh, the building tool is right here, it's this button. Um, the shortcut is letter W, but I'll click on there. You can see it changed my cursor. Now I can click here. And once I have a straight line, a baseline, I let go of the mouse, and then I just drag in the direction I want to go, and I have a rectangle. And then I click once more, and the rectangle is done. If I click on the rectangle, you can see that some of the key attributes or the properties have already been set. So it's a building and a source. So we can continue doing that. Here I go. I'll do that. And you can see I just letting things overlap, not a big problem. Um, so go like that. And now uh, clicking on the select tool, I'm going to select all of these rectangles. And then I will say tools, uh, shift J, join overlapping areas. You can see there it joined them. And if we want to make sure that it's all right angles, I'll, call it, I'll select on it again, and I'll say orthogonalize the shape. And there you have my building. That is a pretty quick, and uh, it's quite easy and repeatable. And then I upload it, and I have my buildings, and then I can go out in the field and survey.